Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we take 4 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to the power 6 minus 4 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 here. The next step, we can write it as x raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2, plus 2 times 3 gives 6, minus also 4 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2. Then equals to zero here. The next step, yeah, this follows when we have a square minus b square. It's the same thing as a plus b into brackets, open bracket a minus b. So this here is standing as x raised to power three, and b standing as four raised to power three. Then what we have here becomes x raised to power three plus 4 raised to power 3 into bracket also open bracket x raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 here as this here we have two possible cases first one x raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here then solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square close bracket. And this here, this follows this and becomes x plus 4 into brackets, open bracket x square minus 4x plus 4 square plus bracket equals to 0 here, which is same thing as x plus 4 into bracket, open bracket x square minus 4x plus 4 square 16 plus bracket equals to 0 here. That is, here we have two possible cases. First one, x plus 4 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 4, which is a real solution here. Then, next step here, we have a quadratic equation. We have a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4, and c equals to 16. Apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. At this a, we have x equals to minus minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16 all over. 2 times 1, which implies here we have x equals to minus times minus as plus. Here we have 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared as 16, the minus 4 times 1 times 16, same thing as 4 times 16, all over 2. And from here we have x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of. 16 is common here. Factor it away of 16 to bracket 1 minus 4, then all over 2 here. Then this becomes x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 1 minus 4 is minus 3, all over 2. Then when we have root a times b, we can write it as root a times root b. As this here, we have x equals to 4 plus or minus root 16 times root minus 3 all over 2. As this here, we have x equals to 4 plus or minus root 16, that's 4. And root minus 3 becomes root 3i all over 2. Then, here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3i over 2 which same thing as x equals to 4 over 2 that's 2 plus or minus also here we have 2 root 
3i as this here we have two complex solutions here then so for the second case here as well this follows on we have a is to power 3 minus b is to power 3 which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket open bracket a square plus a b plus b square as this here this becomes x minus 4 into bracket open bracket x square plus 4x plus 4 squared plus bracket equals to 0 here which is the same thing as x minus 4 into bracket open bracket x square plus 4x plus 4 square plus 16 plus bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases as well x minus 4 equals to 0 we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 here. Then solving from this side, we have x equals to minus plus 4. This is also a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 16. Also applying the quadratic formula, we have x now equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 16 over 2 times 1. Then here, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared as 16 and minus 4 times 1 times 16 and write it as 4 times 16 over 2 which implies here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is common here we have 16 into bracket 1 minus 4 which bracket all over 2 here at this here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 1 minus 4 plus minus 3 all over 2 then also from here, when we have root a times b, we can write it as root a times root b. As this here, we can write it as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 16 times root minus 3. As this here, over 2, and this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 16, that's 4. And root minus 3, same thing as root 3i over 2. Also, separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3i over 2. At this here, we have x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2 plus or minus. Also, here we have 2 root 3i. At this, we have two complex solutions as well. And therefore, Altogether in this problem, we have six solutions here, two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and also two complex solutions here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and join our membership package. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.